Well, I'd like to welcome uh, you all tonight to the uh, October meeting of the Design View Board. And um, <clears throat> you are probably familiar with the process. Uh, we will uh, review our minutes for September and then hopefully have a motion uh, to approve or to modify those. And then after that, our uh, acting secretary, uh, Vaughn here will 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 read out the applications and uh, and then you uh, will be uh, asked to approach the center lectern and just give your name and address and um, <clears throat> and then we may have a question or two or you can add if you have some information you'd like to add you're welcome to do that uh, but with that I'll ask if uh, any of our uh, uh, board members uh, would like to make a motion regarding the minutes. Yeah, Mr. September. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion that we approve the minutes of the uh, work session and the regular meeting of September 6, 2016. Okay. Second. I have a motion second. Uh, all in favor of approving the minutes as presented, please raise your right hand. Okay. Thank you. And uh, Vaughn, I'll ask you to go ahead with the first application uh, under new business. Uh, this is application number CERD 17-001007. Uh, the applicant is St. Mary Help of Christians, and the location of the property is 125 Union Street Southeast. This is on the rear side of the church. Uh, the applicant is requesting approval of the submitted plans for making additions to and modifications of the existing accessory building located on the north side of the church property along Union Street. The proposed additions include the construction of porches with columns and standing and standing seam metal roofs to match the church on the west or rear and south sides of the building. Um, proposed modifications include the replacement of the roll-up door on the east or front side of the building with a double door and bricking in the two existing windows on that elevation. Uh, the filling in of a window with brick on the west side of the building, the filling in of a window with brick on the north side of the building, and the installation of two doors and existing openings and the filling in of a window with brick on the south side of the building. All right, thank you. And uh, I believe we have uh, someone here who will uh, uh, make our presentation. And then I'd like to add for the record that uh, Josh Stewart has recused himself because of some involvement with the design of the project. Okay. Thank you. Um, my name's Janet Morris and I live at 723 West Rollingwood Road. In nice neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Thank you, it is. Um, okay, now do you have anything you wanted to add? Well, only that, um, just to let you know that the door on the east facade, the one at Union Street, would be a, a metal panel door like the one that exists in the north wing, similar to this. It'll be solid. Can you, um, can you bring that, uh, and we'll have Vaughn, uh, can we keep that, pass it down? Good, okay, I'm going to pass it that way, and then we'll call it... Uh, I guess it'll be Exhibit H, maybe. Okay. And really all the doors that we see on the different elevations are similar to similar. that metal door. We'll, we'll have glass doors on the uh, west and south side. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Any, other, any other questions? Witness Morris, no? Okay. And y'all are, are cleaning and painting, I presume? We're planning on painting the um, east and west facades. We were going to leave the south facade as it is, just mm -hmm. kind of natural. Okay. The building's not going to match the church, so we don't want yeah. it. Try to make it. Try and make it. Right. Yeah. Now, do, you, do I think we may need a color sample? Not tonight. You can. It'll be the same white that's on the building. Oh, now. okay. You're you're really just gonna refurbish it. the yes the paint that's mm -hmm. there. It's hard to tell what color it was. Okay. It's white. That's fine. That's fine. If you decide to change it, just it's the uh, color pal palette from any of the historic colors. Um, Paint companies. Okay, any other questions? Okay, thank you. Thank you. 
And then I'll ask if we have anybody else who'd like to speak uh, uh, in favor or against this application here tonight. Have that. All right. Uh, would somebody like to make a motion? We can discuss this further if you'd like. I make a motion that we approve the request uh, as written. Okay. Second. Okay. Any further discussion? Well, Y'all have, have certainly improved the neighborhood, and this will be the last thing to finally correct, I guess. Yeah. Okay, good, good, okay. Um, <clears throat> now, I think we still need to vote. Um, We've got a motion and a second. All in favor, raise your right hand. Okay. All right, thank you. The next application is number CERH17-006. The applicant is Ms. Rhonda Lang, and the location of the application is 320 Newberry Street Southwest. The applicant is requesting approval of the submitted plans for the modica modification of the front porch, addition of front steps, and the construction of a masonry wall with gates for a pedestrian entrance, as well as across the driveway at the existing single family dwelling located at 320 Newberry Street Southwest. The proposed modification of the porch will remove the porch rail on the right side of the porch to accommodate a new brick stairway to the front porch. The stairway will be aligned with the proposed pedestrian gate and connected to the gate by a gravel path. The proposed brick wall will run along the front of the property spanning the width of the lot. The wall will include columns, a pedestrian gate, and a recessed gate at the driveway which will be connected to the main stretch of wall by a curved masonry walls reaching from the main wall to the driveway gate. Okay, alrighty, and we have that one here tonight. Come forward and give us your name, please. <clears throat> I'm Rhonda Lang, and I live at 320 Newberry Street Southwest. Okay, thank you. Um, <coughs> do you have anything you need to add? I don't think we changed anything since you submitted. Uh, do you all have questions? That's a city right away that'll be out in front. Yes, it will line up with everybody else's uh, wall on that side. Is that gravel or something that's are going to be grass? It's probably grass now. It's it? grass now, and I hope to keep it grass, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, it does need an entrance, <clears throat> so I think you're finally giving it that. Do you happen to know if historically there was a, um, an entrance like a, from the street where you're putting one back? I don't know that. I do uh, know that there have, were footings there at the corners of my property on both corners. Um, that are maybe this high above the ground, six to eight inches above the ground, they're still existing. But other than that, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And I, I think maybe that porch has been renovated, modified. It, the house has gone through quite a few changes and renovations and all. You probably know, all of, know some of that history. Um, Before you a, a bit, uh, yeah. I, yeah. I did the major one, of course, 12 years ago. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, okay well, if there are no questions, we'll ask if there's anyone else who'd like to speak, then thank you. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Mm -hmm. Is anyone else here tonight who'd like to speak with regard to 320 Newberry Street, the little wall and gate? I don't see anyone, so uh, we can uh, have a motion if you don't, if you all wouldn't mind. I'll make a motion that we approve application CERH 17-006 as submitted. Okay. Second. All right. Any further discussion? Um, other than yeah. to say that it appears that uh, um, that she's putting back um, the entrance where it probably 
historically was. Yeah, there's a door. Her, her, yeah. I think that's a good point because the entrance to the house is there. Mm -hmm. And there's really nothing out on the street, and it <clears throat> um, it it looks very bare. Uh, I would think it would have had even a walk, mm -hmm. like she's putting. Back. Yeah, I think the changes are appropriate yeah. and um, mm -hmm. and are well done. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. I'm all in favor of it. Yeah. yeah. Do we have a color for these gates? Um, you want to come forward? Or they're wood gates. And if you don't have a color tonight, we were talking about that early, earlier. Well, mm. I could leave them as they come. They're pre-manufactured from a high-end manufacturer. They're okay. going to be automatic as well. Are they painted already? or No, they don't come painted. Okay. Um, I would leave them new the way they come, probably, at first. They'd be yeah, and let pressure them treated. And yes, yes, okay. and let them weather. And if that's not appealing, then I'll paint them the same color as the house. Yeah. Yeah, and and what we said earlier is that <clears throat> generally we just use the color palette from any of the historic colors. Benjamin Moore was convenient because they had a store right here, but I think now it would. Well, I think they may still have one in right. around Pendleton. Uh, Pendleton. Well, it would be the same color as my house, which I think falls okay. into that category. It's just, okay. It's a creamy white. Mm-hmm. Like All right. Others. Cream white, it is. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> We've got a motion and a second. And if you want, what we could do is to uh, go ahead and, is it okay to amend your motion that, that the, the color, color match the house? Right. Which is a white trim, I believe. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we had a, is that okay? Is it, well, okay. She's, she's going to leave it natural. And if it needs painting, yeah. it will be right. supremely white. Yeah, well, we know it won't be painted immediately because right. it's probably pressure treated. Yeah. Right. Okay. All righty, all in favor? of the application is amended, raise your right hand. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, we have one more here. Colin? The final application is number CERH17-007. Applicant is Mr. Rhett Revere, and the location of the property is 785 Grace Avenue. Uh, the applicant is requesting approval of the submitted plans to construct a six-stall barn with pavilion, tack room, and other support rooms. The submitted plans and application indicate that the proposed structure will be a craftsman style structure, which as stated in the application is meant to evoke the same aesthetic as the um, stables that previously existed on the site. The overall size of the barn is 24 by 72, while the fully enclosed building portion of the structure is 24 by 32. The proposed location of the barn is in the same area, approximately as a previously existing stable that was destroyed as a result of a fire in 2013. Okay, thank you. And then, uh, Mr. Vera, if you'll come forward and, and uh, state your name for the record, please. Rhett Riviere, and I'm at 1032 Clark Road. Okay, thank you. Um, <clears throat> we, maybe we could we could have you address some of the uh, while you're up up there some of the uh, issues that we had regarding the the angle that we don't quite have nailed down in terms okay. of the roof profile, but we understand you've got one section of it that is included that I think that's probably what we'd be considering. Is that okay. accurate? Um, the six stall barn is a kit barn. It mm -hmm. comes pre-cut. I hope I don't have to even pull a saw out. Um, bribe to me. Um, so that part I can, I can say absolutely exactly. There is an existing slab from where the original uh, offices, tack room, everything else were, which is at, uh, just directly attached to where these barns would go. Uh, that portion, which in this drawing, I guess I should have not made it a point, <laughs> but rotated a rectangle mm -hmm. around to show the angle that it would be coming out because it wouldn't be a point there. Right. Um, so what I have is a craftsman style barn, two cupolas, um, uh, cedar base. We discussed earlier it's a vertical, I think T111 material they send for the upper and a horizontal cedar mm -hmm. plank on the lower part. 
and then the additional structure in this just is how I lay my foundation because there would be a foundation under an area that would be tack room, feed, things like that. Mm -hmm. This The plans that I got for this barn do not include a restroom, do not include a lot of things. Mm -hmm. um, so that the second building would be exactly as it was in the original barn, which I'm trying as much as I can to replicate in a yeah. newer version. Mm -hmm. um, and that would have the restroom, it would have it would have these things. And that would be the portion that you may bring back with right. an additional sketch. Because you would like to see how roofs <clears throat> attach. Yeah, but yeah I, think every, I think you would too, probably. Uh, and originally that was a separate mm -hmm. building here mm -hmm. um, with just the roof structure and pass-through on both sides. But I'll that's right, and that's an that's a easy way to, you know, to kind of link to separate, 90 degrees. Separate structures. It, it is, yes. yeah. Even with new buildings, we do that sometimes right. to avoid problems. Now, I was just, I was just saying, uh, trying to find something that was in my mind that I could say, this is what I'm after. Mm -hmm. um, and it's an historic building here in Aiken. But when you go into the woods at the uh, at bottom of Lawrence Street, the greenhouse, which is now the office for the woods, yeah. that is what I'm seeing but at an angle right there, a little bit. Okay. But that's the structure that I'm seeing in my head for right, right. there. Okay. But not, and maybe that color or maybe not? Mm -hmm. Color is, you know, what we have to do. Green is Aiken green, so <laughs> I don't know. Well, um, again, the original, well, I don't know about the original, but for the last 24 years, the green tree <coughs> was gray with white piping and trim. Um, yeah. It's, it's. I haven't gone. That around. would always work if you if that was always. I there. think that always works. Yes, mm -hmm. and it's it's very. I mean, you don't notice it. It doesn't jump out at you the way my yeah. barn red barn jumps out at you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I, I guess that was before we. Well, that was just a, a repainting it, it, job. It, yeah. it, it apparently. Yeah, I mean. What it, color was it before you painted it red? Gray. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But apparently, uh, and I actually went to Susan and asked, and she said, "No, if it's been painted, you don't need to come That's in right. once it's painted." Unless it's unpainted. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, any other questions? Uh, I think what we're doing is we are approving the straight section right now, um, and then as as you get the the roof. For the angle portion configured, if you'll bring that back. Okay. Um, but again, because I have to figure a foundation mm -hmm. for where it's going to go, it's either going to go on the existing pad or it's going to go under the new part. Um, I'd, I'd like to have some assurance that that configuration, just doing that turn, can be good if I can show the roof line. Because you're going to try to put that foundation uh, in? Exactly. <laughs> well, I guess you could do that kind of at your own risk. I mean, well, I'm not sure we can guarantee, depending on what that angled portion looks like. Um, Again, think of that green. I, that green. I, I would not That's, put in a foundation if if I didn't if I didn't have a roof design, personally. Well, but if I wasn't going to get it, then I have to put the foundation in for the. Yeah. Tack room, wash stall, oh, et cetera, in oh, this yeah. barn. Oh, right. I think that's fine. Yeah. But if I'm going to use those stalls as stalls, then there's no cement going down. That's right. So, so I will, I'll, I'll get you that roof line, but, but you, you, you're in concept all right with turning that building? Uh, th yeah, the idea of putting an angle there, I, I don't think we, we necessarily would disagree. It's not a real visible, I mean, it kind of set back from the road. Right. Um, I'm not sure too many people even be able to tell it's an angle, but I think we're more worried about <clears throat> just the constructability. Construction uh, what, what it, you know, what <clears throat> the, the, the roof structure would, how it would turn out. Okay. And and there's no way for us to, we we all we have probably six ideas about how it's going to look, 
<clears throat> so it's hard to vote on all right on a consensus there well you know i can i can pull on a couple of you and then you'll have to recuse yourselves from the next meeting <laughs> yeah, that's right <clears throat> we do. are you under any time pressure well it's just this material is all sitting there so it's going to come and be sitting in my grass and i'm already overbooked for stalls i've got people yeah. looking to come in and so yes i really I really need to get these things pretty much up and built. We're double double booked in a lot of things. So I mean, just just as far as bringing horses into Aiken. So right. you'll get get approval for the for the six stalls probably tonight, but right. Mm -hmm. But if it's only going to be four because one's a wash stall and one's a tack yeah. room, then so I'm just just wondering if it's worth bringing the whole thing back next month or. Well, I can be building this month and have them rented next month and have people in Aiken. They're, they're coming in. Mm -hmm. This is the season. That was yeah, we're willing to work with you on that, that, phasing it. It's just yeah. that we, we, we really require a, a yeah, some I just kind wanted of some, some, you know, if there's a absolutely not, this cannot be built over here, don't even think about it, then, you know, I, yeah. I, I, I walk away from that idea. But if it can't yeah. be, then I can. There's no on. prohibition on a. Right. Barn having a 45 degree angle. Okay. But I mean, I'm delayed a little bit right now because of this storm in Beaufort where yeah. I've got to go there and yeah, I understand. everything here. So, yeah, well, I, think, I think we can work with you on the straight part. It's just we don't have anything to vote on as far as the right. angle part. And, and, and if you wanted to go ahead and do your foundation, it's kind of up to you. Mike will probably want, Mike Jordan's building, so he probably mm -hmm. want a drawing to do a foundation. But yeah, I'm going to need him to. Help me find where the old bathroom was. Yeah, yeah. So I think we can work with you on that. Now let's let's go a little bit so we don't get uh, we don't want to beat a dead horse. Mm -hmm. do we? No. Uh, <laughs> but uh, um, in terms of the exterior, can you work with us some on the on the exterior where maybe it would it could be just wood like the other barns and maybe not Certainly. not have stone. I think I think some of us were were not real. Uh, I think that was thrilled. a dress up that this woman that I'm getting it was. from got. It was. There were there were all these options and add ons and there were dress ups. Frills, yeah. And and it could have been in Colorado or somewhere um, North Carolina. North Carolina, okay. <laughs> um, but I think it, it, our interest would be that it that it and yours I'm sure is that it kind of blend in and look like it's one of the other barns. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Could you get brick all. instead of stone? I don't know. If you wanted masonry, but but it's only you know the bottom looked right. like two feet, two and a half feet, something yeah. like that. It wasn't a. It was just sort of a highlight. Yeah. On either end, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. But the simplest Didn't would go probably hold back. <clears throat> yeah, and and I think the other part would be uh, this uh, apparently is a sort of two tone. Yeah, I, I looked at that picture after you said yeah. all that, and or somebody said it, and the more I saw, uh, yeah, it looked sort of yellow with a white highlight, white door or something. Yeah, I don't know what color. That was just their personal, whoever built that barn. And the gable, like you, you pointed out that you're not sure you'd want to have the, the lower part painted white. Right. Anyway, so I'm, I'm not familiar with too many that that have a, you know, a natural stain. Uh, upper part of the gable and then and then painted certainly not oh quite my. so th those are the kind of things that we would be mm -hmm. no, I'm, hoping I'm, you could I'm do. I mean I, I, what I wanted to do is sort of go and not stand out not say hey here right. I am it's it's right. not a, it, I, I want to try and recreate right a lot of what was there and in the same style yeah could we just say that it'd be painted gray and not be two-tone May, white highlight if there's a band or a post trim, trim is column fine. yeah something like that this is sort of like a 1955 chevrolet exactly you know, the two <laughs> two cup um, call two when they first two out tone barn. <laughs> um that probably dates me <clears throat> uh, but i think those that would be a, a, a sort of a path forward if we could I mean, all agree. i mean i'm i'm again really trying to somewhat recreate what was there in the same style mm -hmm. and uh, just I know. upgraded a little bit. I know you're trying to kind of replace what what, yeah. you, what was lost. So in that spirit, uh, I, I believe we could go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll see if any other 
anybody else wants to speak for or against and any other questions? Okay. Because you probably need to get I'm going to Buford. Down to the coast and pick up some horses. <laughs> uh, well, horses are coming. I've got a boat there that uh -oh. I've got to take out to sea. Uh, okay. So, mm. Well, you better hurry. Okay, and you're going to get, uh, in follow-up to probably get some 40, 50-mile-an-hour winds here today. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Be safe. Yeah, we'll, we'll have our vote here in, in just a minute. All right. Mr. Chairman, with respect to application number CERH17-007, I move that we um, approve this application um, on the condition that um, the structure, the six stall or four stall and um, structure um, be painted gray and that um, no stone be applied to the structure. Mm -hmm. And that it that it be uh, the the section that we have a yeah this we is have a, a, it's a, the straight section the and straight then, section mm -hmm, not mm -hmm. the and but we're aware that you'll likely be bringing in a an addition to it. Okay, good. Thank you. Any second. Second? Okay, we got at least one second. Or right, any other discussion? Okay, good. All in favor, raise your right hand. Good. All right, got your first phase anyway. Good, I think that's it, is it not? Uh, so we'll adjourn our meeting tonight. Thank you all. And you've turned in your form. Okay.